Getting garbage results from AI? Well, you're not alone. Most creatives are missing critical steps that teams like Google and Microsoft have already figured out. Hi, I'm Vito. I've shipped hundreds of design and web projects as an agency owner, built the first implementation of AI into WordPress back in the day, and now I'm building AdRM AI to help creatives deliver faster with higher quality. I see these prompting mistakes all the time, even within my own team. People open ChatGPT or any other AI tool really, typing something like analyze my website or give me marketing ideas, then get frustrated when the response feels uh, useless. Same tools, same AI, completely different results. So what's the difference anyway? It's not the AI, it's how you talk with it. Creative work used to flow in three different stages. First, you'd brainstorm, then build, and finally, share it around for feedback. AI is collapsing the first two into one, and that's powerful, but it's also risky. Before, you'd brainstorm, sketch ideas, then spend hours building mockups before anyone even saw a real page. Only after that came collaboration, sharing drafts, collecting feedback, iteration, all of those kind of things. Interestingly, we've seen this shift before. Photoshop used to rule web design until drag and drop builders brought creation straight into the browser. And then Photoshop didn't really die, it just stopped being the middleman. It killed that use case. Now AI is doing the same thing, only faster and for much more complex interfaces. It takes you from idea to first draft in seconds, but first drafts are rarely good drafts. If you expect a tool made specifically for building to replace the whole process, you'll end up with generic results that look like everyone else's. That's why our role as designers is shifting. We're not just doing the work anymore, we're directing it. Our value isn't in pushing pixels anymore, it's in shaping the strategy behind them. It goes back to the fundamentals of problem solving through design, rather than design for the sake of it. And there's an interesting anecdote by Steve Jobs in an interview about how uh, Rob Janoff uh, approached creating the Apple logo. Roll the tape, Shay. let's have a look. Our challenge was how could we have a little jewel that we could use without the name to put on the product, uh, Etc. Without spending, you know, 100 million dollars in 10 years to to make that association in the customer's mind, and Paul solved that by by making us a little jewel that had contained in it the name of the company, uh, and I think that uh, he really approached it as a problem that had to be solved, not an artistic challenge for its own sake. Approaching the work as a business problem to be solved aligns us with the things that matter. Why are we doing this? Who is this for? What does success look like? So the key to making AI work at that level comes down to two words, context and clarity. And I just saw a video of this uh, kindergarten teacher who asked the class to write instructions for making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Sounds pretty easy, right? We've all made peanut butter and jelly sandwiches before. But then she followed those instructions literally. When one kid wrote, uh, put jelly on the bread, she placed the entire jar on the loaf. Another said, spread the peanut butter, but didn't mention a knife or the bread. So she used her hands and she just smeared it all over her arms. The class burst out laughing, but the lesson landed. If you leave out context, the result is chaos. And we know that this is the value a solid brief or discovery session brings to a project. And that's exactly how AI works. If you say, make me a homepage, uh, it'll fill in the blanks with generic pattern-based guesses. AI doesn't understand your vision. It only understands your directions. So instead of vague prompts, give it structure. Here's a simple way to think about it. It's called the CRISPY method, CRISP-E. The context, what business or goal you're working on, the role, who you want it to act as. Then we have the instructions. What exactly do you need it to do? Be specific and detailed here. This is where you describe the task or request uh, itself. What you want created, analyzed, written, or solved. If your prompt involves using other tools or generating something like a document, a design, an image, or a port, include every relevant detail so the output meets your expectations. Explain why this task matters or what it's for. This gives helpful context and ensures the response is aligned with your goal. And then we have the specifications. How do you want the output formatted and styled? We have the performance, what success looks like. And the last one is pretty powerful, is that one-shot example that leans into how AI thinks and acts. This is the same kind of prompting that top teams at Google and Microsoft use every day. And within Adderim, we thought about it a bit uh, differently. We trained our agents to be subject matter experts, but that's not enough. Uh, if Jobs would have asked Janoff to make a logo for a company called Apple, he'd get the same generic results. 
So instead, we layer a five word request like, uh, how can I improve this with additional context provided by the user or generated by our other agents. For example, this includes an automated screenshot that marks the exact location of the request or the discussion, the code behind the screenshot, the user's skills and the level of expertise, the project brief, the goals, the objectives, how do we win, the company or the brand guidelines as files so that we know how to act as a team, and this is on top of the system prompt crafted for all kinds of different uh, use cases. And it ends up with something like 5,000 words to guide a five word prompt to a solid result. Uh, and we can do all of that because we're specific enough in our use case, which allows us to streamline or automate most of the context needed. Uh, but this is not the case for the mainstream generic AI chats. And that's where the crispy method comes in very handy. So if you're getting garbage results from AI, it's not the AI, it's the prompt. Next time you use AI, add context, tell it who you are and what you're trying to do. Then come back and tell me if the result felt different. Because context is everything, this is exactly what we're building with Adderim AI, your creative AI team that works with you right in the browser, fully inside the context of your work. To see it in action, check out our video on the inner circle where your AI teammates collaborate with you in real time to review, refine, and ship your best creative work. I'm Vito, and I'll catch you on the next one.